Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In today's episode, we're diving deep into methods that aren't just effective, but scientifically proven to enhance your learning. Whether you're a first time test taker or looking to improve from a previous exam attempt, these strategies will be your key to success. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to introduce four different scientific methods for retaining information as you study. And then at the end, I will show you how to use all four together to pass the PE exam. Let's go. First method is spaced repetition, a technique fundamental to effective learning. The core idea is to break your study content into smaller, manageable segments and review them at increasing intervals. This technique leverages the psychological spacing effect, ensuring longer term retention of information. Imagine planting seeds of knowledge and watering them regularly to see them grow over time. This gradual process allows your brain to absorb and consolidate information more effectively than if you're trying to cram. An effective spaced repetition schedule might look like this. Day one, study a new topic. Day three, quick review of the topic. Day seven, another review, integrating related problems or questions. Day 14, a comprehensive review, including cross-referencing with other topics. The beauty of this method is its flexibility. You can adjust the intervals based on your comfort level and the complexity of the topic. Utilize digital tools like spaced repetition software or stick to the traditional note card system whichever keeps you organized and consistent. Next, I want to introduce the PQ4R method. PQ4R is an acronym for preview, question, read, reflect, recite, and review. It's a long one. This holistic approach ensures that you're not just passively reading, but actively engaging with the material. The question step is particularly crucial. As you preview a section, ask yourself questions like, what are the key principles here? Or how does this concept apply to real world engineering problems? This sets the stage for focused and purposeful reading. The reflect and recite steps are where the magic happens. After reading, take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. Can you explain these concepts in your own words? Can you connect the concepts to broader engineering principles or previous knowledge? This is where true understanding really begins to solidify. Next, I want to introduce the Feynman technique. This method is about teaching what you've learned. I don't know about you, but I learn really well by teaching new concepts that I've just learned to others. In fact, I do this with my kids all the time. But here's the key. You're not teaching to show off your knowledge. You're teaching to solidify your own understanding. If you can explain a complex concept in simple terms, well, then you've truly mastered it. One way to implement this is by creating a mini presentation on a topic as if you were explaining it to a beginner. This forces you to strip down the topic to its essentials, revealing any gaps in your own understanding. Lastly, let me introduce mind mapping. A mind map is an easy way to brainstorm thoughts organically without worrying about order and structure. It allows you to visually structure your ideas 
to help with analysis and recall. This isn't just about drawing lines and connecting words. It's a dynamic process that mirrors the way your brain works. It's about creating a visual narrative of knowledge. When you map out a topic, you're not just memorizing facts. You're weaving a story, making connections between concepts, procedures, formulas, and their practical applications. The visual aspect of this technique is particularly powerful for retaining complex information and really seeing the big picture. But how do you implement any of these methods in a structured way? Let's talk about creating a study plan that incorporates all of these techniques. Weeks one and two start with the basics. Use mind mapping to outline the core topics of the PE exam. Then dive into spaced repetition for each topic. Weeks three and four, integrate the PQ4R method. As you deepen your understanding of each topic, start asking probing questions and reflecting on your answers. Weeks five and six, begin applying the Feynman technique. Try explaining the concepts that you're learning to friends or your study group, or even through mock presentations. And then ongoing, continuously revisit topics using spaced repetition and adjust the intervals as you become more confident in each of the topic areas. Remember, the key is consistency and adaptability. Some topics might require more attention than others, and that's perfectly normal. Adjust your study plan accordingly. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to mastering the PE exam with science-backed study strategies. It's not just about working hard, it's about working smart and using proven methods to enhance understanding and retention of the topics. Stay motivated, stay curious, and remember, Every step you take brings you closer to your goal of becoming a licensed professional engineer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result and ultimately your engineering career. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.